wings over England, but these are wings of the RAF, American-built bombers outward bound for daylight raids upon the continent, raids to repay the Nazis tenfold for their wanton attacks upon defenseless cities. Crossing the channel, low flying makes it harder for enemy observers and sound detectors to spot them. Roaring in over the beaches, movie camera planted squarely in the nose of a bomber for a ringside seat in an actual raid upon Nazi-occupied France. Only complete mastery of the air makes possible these daring daylight forays. Interested only in military objectives, they wing on to a chemical plant making Nazi munitions, and the bombardiers lay their deadly eggs. Over channel ports now, blasting docks and installations with 1,000-pound bombs, and the camera records the damage. Back at a base in England, night raiders get their orders. They climb into fur-lined clothing. This time, the goal is Nazi Germany. The schedule of attack, 24-hour-a-day bombings around the clock. They carry feathered passengers, a homing pigeon for every bomber to be released only if a ship gets into trouble. Sundown, the zero hour. Powerful squadrons of 30-ton Lancasters are ready. Americans are among the crews going with veterans of the RAF. At dozens of widely scattered aerodromes, blinker lights flash the signal for takeoff. And one by one, with split second timing, a thousand bombers roar down the runways, bound for the industrial cities of the German Reich. visible through the haze, flying high above night clouds, they speed upon their deadly mission. Now, over the blacked out objective, parachute flares light up the target amid a hail of anti-aircraft fire. by incendiaries flame like beacons. The city is ablaze. <laughs> <laughs> 